What's up everybody? Thought it would be cool to have a little change of scenery. So uh, I'm in the van. I'm headed over to my storage. I'm gonna pay the bill. I'm gonna drop off my Christmas ornaments. Then we're gonna go to City Trends, cheap urban clothing store. I'm gonna see if there's any hats in there for me. And may maybe, you know. That's where Amanda got the It's Lit hat. So, you know, you never know. pretty good day at the mattress store we haven't had a lot of sales but we've had a lot of customers coming in and like Tuesdays for the last few months have been very slow I might see one or two customers the whole day sometimes unfortunately no one bought anything but fortunately they were all like well we're moving next week and we'll come at, at our store we call that b-backs so we got some good b-backs it's 4 p.m. so we're still open for four more hours so I was editing my video about what it was like to be grunge in the 90s I was thinking about how we called it alternate we were into alternative we were alternative we're alternative. We never said grunge. We always said we're alternative. Just a goofy afterthought. So I took a little break from editing and I had to do some email stuff and I found an email from this morning. A reporter from the Houston Chronicle is interested in showing my Texas slang video. So uh, who knows? I mean, you know, that guy might not do anything with it, but at the same time, I might get some recognition. So that's pretty cool. It's the first time I've been contacted by any press or news. One of the first times I've ever been even emailed on my business inquiries email. So hey, that's a that's a, like a big step for a YouTuber, right? This morning, Amanda carried my camera in, and you know, it's the Gorilla Pod, the camera, the mic, the whole setup. She was setting it on my desk, and at the same time, she wasn't looking, and she let go, and it just dropped right off the desk, and it landed on the mic, and it broke a little bit. Let me see if I can show you. See this, see this tape, see this tape job right here? Only the shock mount was affected, so it's really not a big deal. If the tape makes a crinkly sound, then I'll have to find another solution. It's been quite a while since I hooked up the Sony and talked to you while I was driving around. Uh, it's pretty fun. Here's a guy with a refrigerator. When I first started vlogging, I shot every video on the Sony action cam. But when it would get close to my face, it would look like a fisheye lens, sort of. It really bugged me, but I wasn't comfortable enough with my big Canon camera yet. So now I use the Canon all the time. But the action cam mounts up perfect in the van here. So it's, it's awesome and it's a good distance from my face. It's a fun way to vlog, really. Oh, school zone time. I somehow, it's like I, it's like fate. It's like the universe. It's like the universe knows I don't mind going slow. So every time I drive, it's through school zones. It just feels that way. I know that that's not the case, but I'll never be one of those vloggers that just burps in the camera. I don't think. When I was a kid, my mom would get mad if I burped out loud. She grew up in a family with a bunch of kids and like manners, manners were like super important I guess. So when I was a kid, like burping was, and don't get me wrong, I did it all the time, but it really pissed her off. In real life, when I'm when I'm not on camera, in real life, when I'm not on camera, I walk around the house, I'm, I'm burping words, like not my ABCs or anything, but yeah, my name or whatever. And I just think it's funny, but on camera, because my mom was pretty strict about it when I was a kid, I feel like I'm not supposed to. Hold up, I gotta turn. All right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna go in the storage place, pay my bill, and then drop by the storage. All right, success at the storage place. Just got through putting the uh, extra Christmas decorations in there, and now I'm gonna head over to City Trends. All right, well, I went to use my big camera, and bam, no card and camera, because my main SD card is in my computer at work, and I don't wanna borrow the one from this camera since it's already ready to roll. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it in old school. Old school bird snake on the Sony action cam. All right, here we go. Don't trust anyone. All right, well, three hats. It's hot today in Texas, guys. Y'all watch me regularly, you know I wanted a harsh winter. Give me some freezing weather, like for two or three weeks straight. Give me a month of highs in the low 40s. Come on, Mother Earth. Yeah, so spring basically is here. It's like 75 or 80 degrees today, which obviously it's beautiful, but it makes me realize like, my chances for a week of ice cold are probably over. It could still happen March. It can get, we can have a cold snap in March, but with each day that passes, it gets less and less likely. Now I'm about to run in the grocery store. 
Well, I dropped my camera and knocked out a band of pixels on the little screen. $4 a box? Yes. This. Awesome sauce. Okay, this is a first. Artesian water. Sim simple truth artesian water. It looks like the right stuff. We're gonna find out. I've tried to research it and I've read articles from both sides of whether or not diet sodas are bad for you at all. Um, obviously the best thing is to just drink water. I love soda, like Coca-Cola. I love Coke, but Coke Zero is not bad at all, flavor-wise, and it doesn't make me feel like I drink a bunch of corn syrup, so it feels all right to me. Um, so I kind of feel like I shouldn't drink them all the time, so I don't keep them at the house. But I usually grab like a 20 ounce when I go to the grocery store, or you know, with lunch or something like that. So I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think about diet sodas? I see a lot of people eating these Little Caesars pizzas, but I, and I don't know if it's just the Little Caesars in our area. First, I, I don't think they taste very good. Kind of a sad excuse for a pepperoni pizza or whatever. Second, they make me sick to my stomach every time I get one. I should have prefaced that by saying, I haven't had one in almost 10 years, eight years maybe, um, because every time I would get one, I'd be like, ugh. And also part of it is when I get pizza, I like to like eat too much of it. No joke, for me, Little Caesars is yuck stuff. I'm the one guy turning left where everyone else wants to turn right, and I'm at the front of the turn lane. Sorry guys, I gotta turn left, what can I do? Anytime you see a kid walking with a saxophone case, it's pr pretty much a sure shot. Pretty much a sure shot that they're not gonna play saxophone when they grow up. And that's not a hard and fast rule, but as a musician, I've met so many people that were like, man, I played an instrument in school, but I didn't like it very much, so I, I didn't pursue it when I grew up. You know, I'd probably really like a GoPro. Well, I just saw a Candy Money Green station wagon. Funny, when I was a teenager, I wanted a Candy Money Green Honda Civic hatchback. <laughs> I don't know how Dennis manages to get that even lighting all the time in the car. Maybe, maybe he just has a good timing. Me and Amanda are working together, so I left to go run these errands, and uh, I've been gone quite a while now, and she's probably like, where is he? Um, but she knew I was gonna stop and check out hats, but she didn't know I was gonna go to the grocery store. The coolest hat I got is definitely, don't trust anyone. That's not a motto I live by. I, I kind of live by like, be skeptical, but meet people halfway, give some trust. Like, that's kind of where I'm at. Be a skeptical truster. I don't know the reason, but since I've been vlogging, I love to get these hats that say stuff and like goofy hats. Something about hats like this, the irony of me wearing it, uh, it just makes, it makes me feel, it makes me smile. That's all. It makes me feel goofy. Don't trust anyone. You know, cold Starbucks is better than hot coffee at most places. I live in a place where we've been drinking Starbucks since the late 90s, and we don't have a lot of small coffee roasters here. It's not easy to just go get fancy coffee. Starbucks is the closest good coffee within a reasonable, a reasonable distance. So uh, we drink a lot of Starbucks. At home I have the Keurig and the Nespresso machine, so I don't buy Starbucks beans anymore. Sometimes I buy the Keurig capsules, but I've found that most of the Keurig capsules taste pretty good, even the, um, even the inexpensive ones. I was telling you earlier when I got to work, Amanda dropped my camera, and then I dropped this camera. It's one of those days, man. If I get back to work and Amanda dropped her camera too, I'm gonna be like, what? Oh, there's a U-Haul backed up to our store, and it looks like another customer. So Amanda's probably in there trying to help somebody load up. I better hurry up and get in there. All right, here I come. Here I come, baby. Here I come. Oh my gosh, somebody else pulled up. Dude, I'm not gonna fit in here. Okay, guys, I gotta get in. I gotta get into the mattress store right now. It seems like we're having a rush, so I'll talk to you later. All right, well, I made it back to the mattress store, and uh, when I got here, Amanda had some customers trying to buy a king-size mattress, and some other customers needed to load out a queen size. So uh, I got in here just in time, I guess. When I was getting out of the car and I was like, oh, I gotta go in there and help Amanda. 
my phone was vibrating in my back pocket. Amanda was trying to call me or chat me. So it was another good day in mattress land. We are about to close up and head home for our two days off. We have one day off by ourselves and then two days off in a row together. So we're we're gonna have our two days off in a row together tomorrow and the next day. So my hair just my hair just keeps on growing. I'm growing my hair out. Um, but I don't know how long I'm growing it out, and I've considered getting it cut already, but I kind of I kind of like the way it just kind of when I put it on with when I put the hat on when I put a hat on with my hair the way it just kind of sticks out it reminds me of like when my uncles would wear a ball cap when I was a little kid I I don't even know what that means I'm not even gonna try to explain that I, I don't know I guess I like I like the I like the look with a, a hat with the not short hair long hair Budweiser shirts and cut off blue jeans but long hair was just a little a little bit longer than where I'm at right now is 80s long hair late 70s long hair so I don't know what I'm doing but. I'm not getting a haircut, that's for sure. So Amanda's locking up and I'm gonna do the closeout reporting and we're gonna get out of here and go home. So it was fun taking you with me on my little journey today and I may or may not see you again tonight. So if not, I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. I guess this is just random thoughts with Bird Snake. Random thoughts with Bird Snake. Random thoughts with Bird Snake. Random thoughts with Bird Snake.